What's going on, everybody? It's August 22nd, 2023. Uh, it's Tuesday, and we replaced an evaporator in a uh, York heat pump today. Um, the unit was only a couple years old. We did not install this unit. Um, not a very great install by the installing contractor. Um, but nonetheless, we pulled the evaporator out, um, got a new TXV for it also, got to change it out, uh, went pretty smooth. Um, yeah, so take a look. All right, guys, we got an evaporator to change today on this York air handler. And it's kind of, we are in an attic here, but it's not horrible. We do have an access in and out pretty easily. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and pull that. Well, first we're gonna see how much refrigerant it has left in it. Recover that if there's any and go from there. I did not diagnose this, nor did our company install this unit. So, let's get going. All right, here is our outdoor unit. From 2021. This thing is not old at all. Kenny's coming with the gauges now so we can see how much is left in there. Well, we got barely any pressure left here. So we'll get the rest of that out of there and then we'll go ahead. All right, here is our coil we're about to pull out of here. The TXV, which seems to have a lot of oil on it. Hmm. TXV has a ton of oil on it. I wonder if that was where the leak was. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure at all. All right, we'll get it cut. I'm probably just going to cut it right here. Pull the whole damn thing out. Swap around what I got to swap around shove the new one back in all right we cut here and here you see here and undid a actually there was not even any screws in it so we got it halfway pulled out now so we're pulling this bad boy out now and we'll get we'll swap over what we have to and we'll get the new one in here all right here is our new coil and here's our old. So we gotta take our TXV off here and pray to God nothing on there leaks. Even though I see a lot of oil on this. So I almost half wanna see if our supplier has a TXV. So I'm not putting this oily thing back in there. Looks like it might be leaking out of the base here. All right, I um, just don't trust this TXV. It's got a bunch of oil on it. So supplier has one in stock. We're just gonna go get a new one. That way we have all new here. We don't have to worry about messing with it. All right, guys, just got our new TXV here. So we're gonna go ahead and slap that on now. All right, we got our new TXV in. So we're about to shove this baby in place. Probably just do new new little pieces of copper there to go in there that's where our air handler is through that little cubby hole there it couldn't be this one and it couldn't be that one it had to be the one in that little hole <laughs> but all right so we're going to shove this coil back in there and um see what kind of um see what kind of other fittings we need to make up to get this thing to work and this coil came like this from york i just realized it it was purged with nitrogen, or filled with nitrogen, so there's no leak. Still not how you want to receive a new coil. It's crazy. 
Well, we went to lunch and by the time we came back, I guess the office went to lunch too. So now we're locked out. So there is a filter dryer that's on this unit here. We're gonna go ahead and cut off and uh, put a scab of copper in there because I'm gonna move the filter dryer inside. So I guess we'll at least try to work on that with the because all my tools and everything are locked up there. So uh, there's not a whole lot I can do out here, but we're gonna try. Uh, this is our filter dryer here, little ground ball type one. So we're gonna cut that out and put a scab of copper in there so we can install it on the inside. And here's this little <laughs> heat pump filter dryer a little ball that's all it is it's funny i think york went to these a couple years back well obviously this is a 2021 <laughs> tell you what though there is a lot going on with this coil there's a lot of copper in this coil and a lot of brazed Not like some of the stuff we're seeing nowadays. So, I mean, I was never a really big fan of York, but uh, looks like looks like there's some pretty decent craftsmanship in this outdoor unit. Or at least they used a ton of copper. <laughs> it is a single wall though. <clears throat> yeah. All right guys, we got our little piece of copper brazed in there and that will stay like that for the remainder of this unit and our filter dryer will now be near the air handler so that's how this one's gonna be yes sir all right we're gonna flow nitrogen also the rest of the way i'm going in through the high side this time and out below i don't know why they put this t on here because there's no low pressure or low loss fitting there. I'm not sure why that T was installed, but it's there nonetheless. So, all right, well, once I can get inside the building again, I can continue on with the coil change. All right, guys, this is how we got her mocked up here. Say, this is, this is five eighths, I'm sorry, three quarter coming out of here. So what I did was I, and but we have seven eighths feeding it. So I just, instead of doing a full swedge on that, I just did a partial swedge, just big enough to go around this swedge here. So that's what I did there. Then we got our three eighths swedge there, filter dryer, seven eighths swedge here. This is rigid copper here. Um, yeah, a little close to this arm of flex. Might have to either cut some more of that back or raise it up some it's pretty hard armaflex so i don't think i'm going to be able to raise it up some probably just cut it new piece of seven eighths from here down so all right we're about to get brazen guys we're all brazed up filter dryer suction all the liquid sides so we're about to go put her on nitro and see if she holds all right we're filling her up now she's going to hold a lot of nitro these are both tubing fins a right big unit for three tons. I think it's three tons. Yep. Bring her up somewhere close to 250, 300. We'll close her off right here just to make sure nothing's gonna drop while we're up here. <clears throat> you guys, I keep it real. This O-ring was supposed to seat in there and it didn't seat. That's my fault. So we gotta dig up a new one. Hopefully we can get that one to seat. She ain't gonna hold pressure like that. <laughs> All right, let's get another one. All right, we got her in there now. I don't know how that kicked around. I'm gonna try to get it seated back on there now though. Make sure she don't pop out this time. 
See, I think she's, see, she's trying to get off a little bit now. All right, let me put the can't let me put the phone down so I can do this two hands. All right, let's try this again. All right, I brought it up to about 171 just to see if I'm getting a holler from Kenny up there, uh, soaping up the fittings. I haven't got a holler so far, so these don't seem to be moving much. I'll probably bring her back, bring her up to 250 or so now. She certainly is eating some nitro though. This was way up here when I started. <laughs> All right, we've almost cracked 250. All right, the number is 252.8, 252.4. Give her a few minutes. All right, guys, we just put her on vacuum. Valve cores removed, large hoses, micron gauge on the T they had there. And we have our gas ballast open until we get below 1,500,000 microns or so. All right, we're gonna go back upstairs and we're gonna start buttoning stuff up up there. All right, we're getting there. Still got some Armaflex to put on and all, but as I'm looking around, the guys who installed this did a horrible job. And I remember us bidding on this job because this is typically a building we take care of. But I guess they went with the lowest bidder. This isn't connected. Look, they left parts of the old air handler here. They used a part of the old air handler to hold the duck up. Look, they used two pump ups there and the door to the old unit to hold this return up. Did a crap job taping it up here. No wonder why we lost this job. These people weren't interested in paying anything to get it done. They left parts over here. Cheap isn't always good, people. I mean, I don't know why this unit started leaking, but I don't know if that was a insulation error or not, but I can tell you right now, this is a bad install. Looks horrible. Anybody that does crap like that, it's a bad install. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, we can only do what we can do. All right, guys, we got our line set all tape back up. Looking good. So we're just about done here at the air handler. We're about to go back up, check on our vacuum, charge this baby up. All right, guys, we're down. About 6.30 or so, still dropping back. We'll give it a few more minutes, then we're going to charge this bad boy up. Hopefully get it under 500. All right, guys, we got almost nine in her. Holding charge is just to over eight, so we got a decent line set here, so put almost nine in her. She basically took all she'd take with it off. Just turned it on now see what she's gonna do man it's pretty junky up here a lot of old caps and wires wire nuts it's an old filter dryer over here man look at this I'm not sure if this unit works or not it hasn't ran the whole time I've been up here and if it does it won't be long before it starts short now. Yep, that's bare copper there. I don't think this unit works. Uh, it's disconnect is off. Yeah, this disconnect is off, so that unit don't work anyway. Let's have a look here. for about five minutes now suction pressure coming up let's give it a few more minutes before we start making any uh, refrigerant adjustments damn somebody left their valve core remover behind it's the old school one
Mm-hmm. Give that to Kenny. Alright guys, got all done with that uh, EVAP, got her charged up and back going, um, went pretty smooth, so no complaints at all. Uh, it's weird that uh, the, the tenant of the space knew we were there, we left, went to lunch, I guess we could have we told them we left for lunch, but you know we were so into it that uh, we were just like, you know, let's go run, grab some lunch, and that... 20 minutes we were gone uh, they left for lunch and they took a lot longer lunch than we did but luckily I had a little bit to do up on the outdoor unit um, cut the filter dryer out and stuff like that but um, but yeah that sucked it probably added about 30 minutes onto my job time so because um, I had to wait around for the guy to get there I ran out of stuff to do all my tools all my material was up there so um, but you know it happens sometimes some of you you know you got to go with it, man. You can't get too upset at things like that. So, but all right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, don't forget to give it a like. And um, if you're new here, subscribe. Try to do new videos every day. And um, check down the, in the description if you feel like donating to the channel. Uh, the cash tags are down there Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. Um, got some products down there too for you guys to check out. So, all right, guys, I will catch you on the next one.